Hello and welcome back to Pal World. We are here. Last episode, we went ahead, grabbed ourselves this beautiful Nightwing saddle. We got the ability to go around and fly. And we grabbed ourselves a bunch of effigies. We got ourselves uh, an extra catching power. We took down Pen King over here and had ourselves a decently tough boss fight with a bunch of adds from little pen gullets. And we also checked out the tower and found out that the tower over here as a 10 minute time limit on the tutorial boss which did deter me a little bit from doing it immediately but this episode we are going to be taking on the tower of the rain syndicate that is our final goal for this episode everything up to that point is going to be preparation some things that i do want to do is while it is nighttime, i want to go ahead and grab a bunch more effigies i want to explore i want to see uh and if we can get as much of this map uncovered see if there's any more bosses that are below level 23 basically uh that would also be good to do after pen king i imagine there's probably one over this way that might be a lower level than king parker and catrus that are on our map uh and bushy we also have that at level 23 so we're gonna look for another boss that might be below level 23 and if there is we might do that but end goal tower of the rain syndicate on f here another effigy over here if we can get to 11 for an extra catch power boost i would like to try and get one more catch power boost before we go ahead into the boss at the tower of rain syndicate just in case the boss is catchable i'm under the impression that it is not because i have seen some thumbnails from other people that have played a bit further than me and it does seem like there is a person riding it however we can catch people in this game so i guess it's not out of the question egg looks bigger than the others that we've seen so far is this just a bigger egg this looks huge it is a huge verdant egg oh level 26 oh okay are we in a place where we maybe aren't supposed to be yet this is the beauty of flying mounts in exploration games we can kind of just go explore some of the later areas maybe a little bit earlier than we would be able to if we were on foot kind of obvious i know but still we could, uh, we could take a look around. I see fast travels around, and I would like to have all of these fast travels unlocked. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit. If anything becomes too hostile, then we will nope out of here very quickly. But if things seem mostly friendly, we might try and explore a little bit and see some, uh, some names. Wandering Merchant with some guards. Alpha Catrus. With this lore right here that I am going to pick up. Hello. Oh, I like that. Okay, I definitely can't catch that right now, but level 20, Helzephyr. That will become a flying mount that will replace Nightwing for me for sure. <laughs> those just fox parks? No, those are ruby. Level 2? Wait. Large common egg, don't mind if I do. So level 26, this part. Level 2, this part? That seems like a little bit of a jump, but we can catch a ruby. I don't think we've caught a ruby yet. That seems like a very new name to me. I'm definitely thinking we've got fox parks. We did get another fire type. I think the other fire type we got was uh, a ram of some sort. Oh, daydream. I would like you on passive, please. Don't attack. We're going to go back to catching. Nice. Nice and easy capture. Wild Ruby surprisingly never gets sick. Eating one piece of charcoal a day made by burning a branch is the secret to its eternal health. There you go. Some life advice for you. Just, just eat coal. <laughs> uh, we have ourselves a fast travel over here. That's going to be my priority for right now. We have more night wings. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, right, we have this effigy over here that we can go ahead and grab over by this Mamorous. They seem passive, so it should be fine. Yoink, it was in fact fine. Okay, as it is back to daytime though, daytime we're going to work on upgrading our base. Nighttime we're going to work on getting more effigies. That is kind of just going to be the routine that we stick with for the time being, I think. So let's continue working on the base. We wanted to make a ranch. I would like to make one ranch. Where am I going to have space to put this is the question. Can I put it over here somewhere? Yes. Uh, it is kind of on the verge of not being included in the zone anymore, but we can place it over here. So let's get a ranch going. Ranch acquired. Okay, so 
we do have several pals that were good at ranching one of which is vixie that's the one that i know for certain i'm putting in the ranch because uh this digs up items in the ranch and i want to see what kind of things it can get i'm thinking of this as like an equivalent to uh your zigzagoon with pickup so i want that in the ranch uh i also don't know if we have any other things that are particularly good at ranching uh we could get wool from having a lamb ball in there we could probably get eggs from having a chickpea in there. We could put a big chickpea in there. Let's take this extra daydream out for the time being. I've started sorting everything uh, in my box by types, by the way. That was what I did this morning before I started recording the episode. Um, Sweeper was meant to be actually in over here. Yeah, Swee. Sorry, not Swee first. Sweeper was the big one. Let's go ahead and slap big chickpea in there. All right, I want you being ranched. Where are you going to immediately go? Are you going straight to the ranch? Grazing. That seems appropriate. Uh, I want to take Vixie over there, and I want to take Lamball over there, wherever they may be. Are these two both logging? I don't know if I need Dinosum logging, to be honest. As long as Aegfear's doing it, we should be fine, because that's, like, its only job. All right, we'll have a bunch of these grazing so that we can get some eggs and some wool being made. Where did Vixie go? There you went. Okay, you are currently harvesting. I want you to be grazing yeah. as well. I want to see what items that you can pick up. So get in there. Everyone, start grazing. Make this ranch that I just built be worth something. We did also get access to a second base. And while I don't feel like we need a second base right now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to start scouting locations for one. I think the priorities for the second base right now are probably being near ore, as we don't have that much ore, and I'm sure ingots will become more and more useful as we go on. Or, can't get it, ore. Or we could take a look at the tech tree real quick and we can see if there is anything beyond that that we might need, uh, like, for example, cement. Cement just needs bones. That doesn't need a new resource. Is there anything down here that requires a new resource? Sulfur. Gunpowder. Okay. So if we could find somewhere with ore and sulfur for the second base, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I assume there's an upgrade to ore, like um, heavy ore, you know, like in, in every video game. You get your progression, iron, then gold, then platinum, that sort of thing. So is there like a platinum ore type of thing later that we might need to be aware of is what I want to see if we can find out. So we're using ingots. Refined ingots. Okay. Okay, that does confirm what I was saying. There is an upgrade to the ingots. Does that require a different type of ore? Refined ingots. Where? Refined metal axe. Use ore and coal to produce refined ingots. That makes it sound like it's just normal ore. I'm going to be under the impression that that is just normal ore. So it seems like we will just be using uh, normal ore for quite a while. And then down here we have pal metal. Allows refinement of pal metal ingot. That doesn't say anything about what type of ore we would need. Maybe it's just ore. It might just be normal ore. In which case, uh, that would be our priority then. Just finding a place with a ton of ore. That doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Okay. Oh, we also have our egg incubator going back at the house. It wouldn't hurt to make multiple of these, but let's see what this rocky egg will become. A dummard. Okay, we're going to check out dummard in a moment. Uh, for right now, we need to get this huge verdant egg. I think that's going in there, right? That's going to take an hour, and that is at max incubation speed, because it seems comfortable. Okay, okay. That is going to take a little bit of time. Are you about to warm this up out of its range? No, okay, that's fine. Uh, we will check back up on this uh, pretty much at the end of the episode, I guess. <laughs> That'll be our timer of how much time I have to record before I need to stop. <laughs> Would we be able to make another one of these? Yes. If we got more cloth, we could actually make more. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. If that one's going to take an hour, and these are going to take an hour sometimes, it would not hurt to have multiple going. Could have everything that we would need for multiple 
eggs. So let's go ahead, continue the trend to keep these being placed over here. We can get ourselves two more of these. Put ourselves our large common egg in here. That also seems to be going at the right pace. Perfect incubation speed. Uh, we have another Burton egg, and we know that this is the right temperature for it, so we'll put that in there. I imagine an electric egg would also probably work at this temperature. Torching egg might need a couple more torches or campfires around it. Uh, we can make a mill very quickly. That requires, like, nothing. Um, let's add a mill. I guess we should put it over by the field. Can we squeeze this in the rocks over here? I will admit, Daydream... I think Daydream is both the best and the worst pal to have. It's so good with its ability in combat, because you can just have it passively there at all times, just hitting alongside you. But when you want to build, you can't build if Daydream is, like, on the spot you're trying to build, and it never goes away. You can't just recall it. So, in some ways, it's such a good pal to have anytime you want to do combat. But it might, I genuinely might replace it after we do the, the boss at the end of this episode, just so that it's not in my way. Alright, we have our mill. Oh my god, this giant chicken is so goofy. Oh! Oh! Oh, money, pal spheres, wool, arrows. Okay, that's actually kind of ideal. That's really good. Oh, we also hit level 17. Um, what can we get at level 17? Pengal's rocket launcher, give me. <laughs> Just to reread this again. A rocket launcher for launching Pengala. After firing, Pengala will become incapacitated. Literally just a suicide rocket. Uh, I will grab this cooking pot. Uh, we could make a heater. Or if we ever want to eat up our scorching eggs. But I imagine if this works like Ark, which a lot of things in this game have, so I'm going to assume it does... Uh, I think we should be able to just put down multiple campfires around it, and that will also work, or multiple torches. I don't think we need specifically to have the heater, so we will probably just slam a bunch of campfires around it. Can we make a wheat plantation? Do we have everything that we would need? Oh, we actually need one more wheat seed. Okay, I don't know how we get that. We can make a cooking pot, though. So we could slap a cooking pot down in the house. I think I'm going to have this area be more of like a, a food area as we have our food stuff here. Instead, for right now, I'm going to head back to this settlement and see if there is any new pals that we might want to buy. Because I should really be checking this guy decently often. Uh, Univol, Mozarina, Toko Toko. Loop Moon was sold before. Univol, I think, was sold before. Uh, these two were not, so definitely changing its its stock. Mozarina is just a cow. <laughs> okay, okay. We are pretty poor at the moment. Let's see if we can change that. We do have some things to sell that we got from uh, Chillet, for example. And from Pen King. Oh, 4.5k for those, huh? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, do you have different stock? I, I feel like your stock doesn't change. Oh, I can buy a wheat seed. And ironically, that's actually useful right now. And I don't know if this stock is ever going to actually change. So if we can buy something useful from him, why not? At the very least, going back there did allow us to make ourselves our wheat plantation. So let's go ahead slap this down. I, this is where we're starting to get a little bit crowded over here, and it starts to become a little bit more of a problem. I can actually just slap this here, which I think is... I, it's not a great place. We're starting to get a little bit crowded over here, because at the very start of the game, I did kind of just run forward and bonk my base wherever without really considering too much. We do have some space around the back here that we can still do something with. Um, We also might... We might move this base. We might. Depending on how many bases we can get as an as an end number. Like when we upgrade 
this base to its final thing if we aren't at like four bases at the very end we might be moving this base to somewhere with uh, a few more resources or something like that because this uh this isn't the the greatest area of all time. like half of our zone is is straight up down here all right that is enough to get our pal box upgraded once again though build a weapon workbench that seems like a very simple goal Um, wait, is it a simple goal? Hold on, tech tree. Tech tree. Oh, that's level 20. Oh, that is not a simple goal. We can't make that yet. Okay, well, that means that we are where we should be in terms of our power box upgrades. That is good to know. That is good to know. You get an extra slot. Oh, Dummard. We wanted to check Dummard out. Um, we're going to take Liftmunk off temporarily. Hello, Dummard. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a Claude Sire. Oh my god, it's a Claude Sire. Guys, they have a Claude Sire in the game. Guys, they have a Claude Sire in the game. They have a Claude Sire in the game. Oh my god, he transports things by bouncing them on top of his little head. Look at that movement. Oh my god, he's beautiful. Okay, I love this thing so much. I love it so much. that I love myself some derpy pals. It can be set to mining, transporting, and watering as a ground type. Um, oh, well, we'll put you to work, I guess. I also... I'm thinking it's about time we have Dinosum on the team rather than Liftmonk. I like Liftmonk. I like the idea of using the submachine gun. I will be honest, I am nervous about using that in any kind of boss fight after we got launched into the ground. So I think we're going to take Dinosum instead of Liftmonk into the fight. My original plan was going to be to have the submachine gun, as that way it's uh, just useful to have a lot of power for me, but I feel like having Dinosum just makes more sense. Also, it's a dragon, and let's be real, I'm going to become a dragon tamer slowly because the dragons in this game are really cute. As it is becoming nighttime again, it is exploration time. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. A level 15 shiny Tombat. Oh, this is actually going to be very tough. Um, the Chicopee was like way stronger and this is on par with our level. This is going to be really tough. Uh, what is my chance outright to catch this thing? 4%? Honestly? <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> Uh, we are going to want to be dismounted, I imagine. We are going to want to have these guys maybe actually attacking. Oh, no. That was a little bit early. Okay. We need to be very, very careful. Because we can get bombed if we aren't careful. 1% catch rate right now. That's not good, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. That's not good. Uh, Nightwing's doing some really good damage to it, actually. I'm surprised. Like, the Chicopee was really strong. We absolutely cannot allow ourselves to, to lose this. So I'm going to not attack now. There is a deer active against it, which is a problem. I'm just going to throw a ball real quick. So that I can attack the deer and get the deer out of here. Because I don't want the deer to kill my guy. Or we can try and catch the deer too. You know what? We're just going to try and catch everything. I believe in catching. Give me the Tombat. Okay, we caught the deer. All right, bonus. <laughs> I'm just going to throw balls. I'm not going to be too conservative. I'd rather throw balls with a low chance. Oh my god, we got it. Shiny Tombat acquired. Well, that was not how I was expecting this start of the night to go. I was ready to just go ahead and grab effigies, which I still want to do while it's night. So I'm going to hold off on checking out the shiny just for now, but I really want to. But I really got to grab these effigies at night while I can see them because I am... Use the pun here, but I am blind as a bat. Is that a... What? Is that a fast travel on top of the tower? All right, we have another effigy over here. We should... I imagine that we will be able to get to 11 effigies decently quickly. I don't know when we're going to get to a point where we're, like, struggling. 
but in my mind, I'm kind of comparing these to, like, collecting the Oculus in Genshin Impact. I know, kind of cringe, but that's what I am doing. And I imagine we're going to have a very easy time getting ourselves up to basically the last tier, and then the last tier of uh, Live Monk Effigies, where we will, like, actually have to, like, rescour the entire map several times. That's a lot of ore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. This isn't very far away from our other base, though. That is a lot of ore. This is actually just good to know. That's so much ore. It's not a very flat land. I don't like this idea for a base, but knowing that they can spawn like this is honestly kind of good to know. Uh, I can put a mark down, right? Yeah, E. Pickaxe. Ice. Okay, if we ever need ore, we can come here. Uh, there's a fast travel decently close to it. Yeah, that is, that is good information to have. I like that. A yoink. We have some ore down here that we can grab over by the Pen King. I don't think I grabbed before. Or actually, there's one behind me over this way. We're going to grab this one. This will be the last one that we grab for the night. And then we will start heading towards the boss, I guess. It's probably about that time I've, I've put it off enough. All right. With that effigy, that means that we've picked up roughly four each night. It's not a great rate, but it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead, make our final preparations to make sure we have everything that we would need for a boss fight. Make sure we have the right pals on the team that we want to bring for combat and all of that stuff. And let's go ahead and have ourselves a trip to the Syndicate Tower. All right. We also got ourselves this shiny Tombat. Which might actually be a decent contender to put on the team for the fight, considering it is uh, boosted in strength. Yeah, lucky with the work. Speed plus 15%, attack plus 15%. Uh, it's moves. Power bomb is decent. Power bomb is very decent. It is a neutral move. I don't know if there's stab in this or not. I have no idea how I would figure that out. Um. It is also actually a decent worker. I mean, it would be a better worker than the other Tombat, that's for sure. We could probably have both running. I don't know if I really care too much about uh, the mud working, because it was mostly there for mining, but this can mine and do other stuff, so that's fine. I generally feel like the, the best way to do this, which I have... The game's been out for two days at this point. I am not qualified to speak on this, but I'm just going to give uh, an opinion. I feel like the best way to go about the pals is early on when you don't have many slots you want as many pals that can do as many things as possible and then once we have all of our slots filled out wherever it caps out 15 20 25 40 100 wherever it is um then we'll probably want more specified things with just like higher levels in one trait all right my team is fed i have made myself a shield uh which i would like to Oh. Oh, it's a halo shield. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me explain myself, let me explain myself. I said shields were for babies, or something to that effect in a previous episode. I take that back. I was under the impression this was a shield more along the lines of your traditional uh, fantasy shield of you are holding a wooden shield in your hands and therefore you do not have a weapon to attack with because you are blocking with a shield. I didn't realize it was a halo shield of just energy repairing uh, to take damage with a little blue bar in the bottom left. That is actually going to be very convenient for the boss fight. Okay, I feel like we're about ready. I have arrows, right? 69 arrows. It actually wouldn't hurt for me to have a few more arrows, I guess. All right, we have our arrows acquired. I do believe it is about that time for our fight. Let's go ahead. Let's fast travel to the base. I am nervous. I am scared. I do not like time limits. Time limits make me very worried. Wait, what is this? This? We also have a dungeon down here. Okay, dungeons, dungeons in the future, dungeons in the future. For now, we're doing the tutorial. We're getting the tutorial message off the screen. Everyone rejoice. Rejoice. It may have taken a while, but we're going to get the tutorial message off of the screen. I know, I know, crazy. 
this might be the easiest thing ever and i might have been procrastinating for way too long or we might get absolutely wrecked because there's no actual way of telling what level this is hey can bring four people obviously i'm playing solo uh i guess we go I guess we go i can't i can't stall anymore oh Oh, hi there. We got music kicking in. Train a fight? It's the guy with the minigun from the title screen in the trailers. <laughs> oh, am I about to get minigunned? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Also, can I catch them? Oh, we are in. Um, I need these guys actually attacking. It is time to go. 30,000 HP. That is a lot, actually. Um, I am a little bit no. Oh, okay, hello. Okay, hello. It's time to dodge roll. Um, we are also on a 10 minute time limit to do 30,000 damage. I don't like that. Also, I don't like that you're attacking him. Can I just recall? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. That actually only did half my shield. I wasn't sure how much damage that would do. That means that's expected to do 130-ish damage, because I think the shield was like 250 or something. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know if Dinosum is the best for this. Uh, this was, this is an electric type. I can see it in the top. It's also just fully on me. It's not even going for my pals. Daydream is very useful here, however. I wish I'd brought more arrows, to be honest. Um, we're only doing 150 per hit with our arrows, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, 150 isn't bad by any means. It just could be more. Get out of here with your... With your jumpy attacks. None of this. None of this. We're taking you out. Um, so far, one and a half minutes in, a third of its health down, we are probably fine. I feel like we might be, like, three, three-ish levels above where we maybe should be. I feel like we could have came in here with the default shield and maybe the default bow and, like, a level 14 or something. Uh, let's... I think it's set on fire. Ow. That was a <laughs> Uh, can I catch it? 0% catch rate. Can I catch her? <laughs> That's probably not what I should be checking in the middle of the boss fight. Still 0%. Okay. Can I attack that? I missed anyway. I don't know. But... I'm really churning through arrows. I feel like I'm doing more damage than my power is doing right now, which is a little bit worrying. That might be why it's focused on me, to be honest. I'm not getting any of the, the crit hits anymore. I don't know why that is. Is this safe? Please tell me this is safe. Okay, good. My crits have basically disappeared. Oh, is it... Is it specifically when I hit her and not the head? I was under the impression I was hitting the, its head, but I think it's when you hit her, you crit... You crit the boss. Do I need to attack the human? Okay, I love this game. <laughs> Uh, what if we... Okay, first of all, what if we found a pillar? What if we threw out the box and we huggy fire? Can we huggy fire? How much damage is this going to do? 60 per hit. Can I dodge? Okay, I can dodge while huggy firing. That is good to know. As I refuse to dodge that. Uh, this is some decent damage, though. Okay. Obviously, it being on fire would be convenient, so I wouldn't mind Foxbox getting it on fire. That's something it can manage. Still 0% catch rate. They are immune to spheres. Okay, well, that, that confirms it then. Okay, we're, we're not catching it. <laughs> but what if I want to catch Zoe? <laughs> what if I need more humans? Alright, we should be A-OK -okay to finish this up. Probably like half the time remaining still. Nice. 
<laughs> Hold on. We need we need to kill it. Hey, hey. I need to win while on the back of Chilla. Okay, that's just what has to happen. We're gonna throw our ice school cutter. That's some good damage, actually. We're gonna dragon burst. Oh. Get bonked. Get oh. Wait, is she? Five ancient tech points. Oh, okay. I think we may have murdered a woman today. But we got points out of it. Yay! Yay! And we get this fast travel up here. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Why? So this was a fast travel I saw up here before. I wasn't sure. I saw like the orange glow when I was collecting Lift Monk effigies, but I, I wasn't sure if I was crazy or not. It seems like such a weird place. Okay. Okay. Um, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I would say that this was, in fact, a success. We do have the dungeon that was down below, but I feel like that is a decent stopping point for right now. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. This might be the first episode where the, the timer actually isn't, like, an hour long. I actually don't know how long the episodes have been lately because, uh... I'm bulk recording like crazy because I've been playing this all weekend. Fun fact, Power World just hit 1.3 million, roughly, uh, active users on Steam when I'm recording this. And I am one of those users. That is a crazy number to reach. And this game is getting uh, blown way higher than I expected. And that does make me incredibly happy. But for right now, that is where we're going to wrap this up. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll pop over to you.